Good day, folks, and this is the last day of fossil hunting trip in Poland. And today we are going for Devonian site once again, but it's gonna be quite different. We are going for mainly what? Brachiopods. So let's go and check the location. Looks like this is our place, and yeah, it looks like it was raining. This could be problematic a bit, but fossils on the other hand might be washed out by the rain and be better visible. So yeah, let's go up top and check what's going on. These are the guys, nice brachiopods. I don't have these winged ones, this one. Cute, but yeah, very dirty. We will have to clean the, uh, them all up, and uh, hopefully, I will take a lot of them today. Check it out, boys! Lots. Oh, this one is a keeper. Two-sided, a bit dirty. <sighs> lovely, lovely. I want, there is like eight species available or five in this place and we will try to find them all. The guys are up there. Wow, look at this one. Chunker. Two-sided, beautiful. Oh yeah. One more. Also nice one, very lovely. Oh, what's this? Just one side of it. Whoa! The winged one, but this winged one, unfortunately, is broken. Uh, so I think I will find complete one. So I will throw away this one. Dude, look at this one. Wow! It's very nice. It's one side, but... Or maybe two sides. No, I think it's one side. I haven't seen trilobites like that. I have a bunch of trilobites at home, but very different species. So there's so much species of... Uh, Brachiopods, yeah, not trilobites, brachiopods, I'm sorry, folks. And yeah, there's very much species and they are still living. Uh, this species, uh, some species of brachiopods are still surviving in the modern days. And these are Devonian, so crazy old. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. The wing ones. Rugosa? Oh, Lucas saying he found Rucosa. Let's go and check it out. I don't didn't found any coral yet. Okay, I did find the Lucas. Let's see that Rugosa. No, just. Oh, yes. The Rugosa coral. Complete. That's okay. nice. <laughs> And Fabacita is coral. Oh, okay, some corals, sweet. Almost got on top. <laughs> we'll rest for a few, few seconds or maybe minutes and we'll go back down. We need more brachypods and maybe some corals. Like Lukas found, it would be neat to get some Devonian diversity stuff. Today is also quite hot, but I won't, uh, we won't go home until I will get full bag of these brachypods and I'm trying to pick only uh, the best specimens, complete and two-sided, not one-sided shells, because there's tons and tons of broken brachiopods, so no point to take all of those when there's also a lot of uh, complete ones. So yeah, at the end of the video I will try to pick every single species and we will name them. So that's the goal of the video, I guess. <laughs> And one more, looks very different, very distinct. I will try to uh, show all the species and I will name them also in the comments. <laughs> Hell yeah. And there it is, this is the concretion from which they are eroding, very crunchy. Yeah, we just can't take them out, out of here. But this one is one-sided, so I won't be taking this one. Dude, 
two sides that are the best and this one is big like a nut some sort of yeah there's something as well interesting i will take it we will ask lukas what this is we we did rest for a bit took some water and now lukas took his hammer and hit all that in the bigger concretions it's possible to find trial bite pieces it's even possible to find full trial bite in here but as everywhere in our locations trial bite are extremely rare I was thinking that I will bring at least one full trilobite from this this whole trip in Poland, but it looks like it, it's not gonna happen again, unfortunately, but I won't give up ever until I find one. I've got enough small ones. I will still pick them up, but now I'm trying to focus on the bigger ones. And bigger ones uh, come where the slope is more uh, straight, like nine, almost 45 degrees slope. And there is more, more bigger ones on top, more smaller ones. And this one is not very big, but it's a fat one. See, yeah? fatty, fatty. <laughs> I can't wait to clean the, them all up from dirt. They will take a, a bath. Sauna time is waiting for them. And another fatty just laying there, two-sided, my favorite ones, some nice serrations on the side. What's the sound? <laughs> Under the tree, Tom is smacking rocks. something different very cool branch of a coral very detailed that's very neat <laughs> sweet yeah Lucas was striking some rocks and this is the trilobite Egidium and thorax so basically almost half of trilobite maybe even pieces of head inside but from the other side this will be Insanely hard to prep. Nice catch though. <laughs> Little lizard. I see something very cute. Ah, there it is. Yes, this is corn coral, rugosa. Very similar state as these uh, brachiopods. But very cool, very detailed, complete. <laughs> yep, very complete. We'll clean it off and it's gonna be amazing. Little worm. Tomek is sitting in that hole for a while now, so it got me curious what he's doing there. Let's go check out. Maybe he's finding some good stuff and not telling me. <laughs> Just kidding. Co tam robisz, Tomkę? Ok, he's just picking more brachiopods, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, beauties. Nice, he got these winged ones a lot. Sweet, good job. Also, trying my best to find as big as possible this winged uh, brachiopod. They're very cool, but I'm finding only sm small ones. <laughs> like airplane or a beard. Wheel. This one is really cool. Look at this pointy side. It's broken from other side, but yeah, very impressive brachiopods. Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, I will take this one. There we go, a little bit bigger, not very big, but very cool, <laughs> sweet, sweet. What you're looking at, uh, defined, this is whole death, death plate of brachiopods, from these uh, death plates they are rolling out, but this uh, death plate 
it's worth prepping uh, with sanding or something because it will look quite impressive. Yes, filled with brachia pots, lots of them. Sweet, good find. This one is very interesting, quite flat, two-sided, looks neat. Not sure if I found one like this before. These were, by the way, filter feeders. With the bottom section, they were attaching to some sort of rocks and to filter feeding, like that. Neat. Some more <laughs> rugosa corals, very regular. This is the root. You can see all the layers on the head, looks like shit to be honest, but it's cool. And small one, also very cute one. Unfortunately, broken side. Nice find, Thomas. Take it, buddy. Good job. And one more from Lukas. His efforts is paying off. Good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, look at this eye. When he will clean it, this eye will look magnificent. There's like 100 lenses at least. He had almost 360 view. Other eye, unfortunately, is gone. Cute Devonian drill bite. There you go. Fuckops. Fuckops? Fuckops. Nice name, Fuckops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we had enough. Everyone got their share of brachia pots. A lot of them, trust me. I will clean them at home and I will show you. So see you at home, guys. The hunting for fossils is always fun. But after the hunting comes the cleaning. Every fossil shines only after being cleaned or prepped. And that takes time. Every single brachypod was cleaned with brush separately. And I did put them into ultrasound cleaner device as well to get that mud out of the crevices. Also, I wanted to thank you every single person that was on this trip with me. So Lukas, Jakub, Kuba and Tomek, thank you for keeping me company on this adventure. I had lots of fun during this trip. And also I want to thank every single my subscriber for following my journey for fossils and amber and supporting my hobby. Just finished cleaning all of this Devonian treasure. All of these are very old, over 360 million years old. And as you can see, we have at least five different species of brachiopods and it was possible to find, uh, I believe, seven or maybe six because some are uh, debatable. Also, we have some beautiful colors. I love them so much and there are so few of them I found. And yeah, let's check all of the other goodies. Yeah, so we have these winged ones as one species. Then we have these giants or maybe this one is a little bit better looking. Then we have these weird thingies. And also we have these babies. We have these small types of brachiopods. <laughs> these ones are I'm, I'm the most familiar with. And this one is kind of debatable. So how much is this? One, two, three, four, basically six pieces, I think, because uh, yeah, so we are missing one. Corals are insane. Look at this one. I think it was a bit squashed. Very interesting piece. Nicely preserved, very interesting, unusual shape, awesome piece. Now this one is my favorite and this one I think is rare species and it did clean really well. The whole middle is very clean and it's absolutely complete. Absolutely love this. And we have this one and this one. This one could be a brio zone, I'm not sure. So yeah, the diversity of corals are very nice. This piece is also a honorable mention because it has some sort of bryozoan or the coral on top of it. And from the bottom it's just a brachiopod. <laughs> so qu quite a nice catch of all of these pieces. And this is it. The fossil hunting trip in Poland is officially over. There won't be any more episodes, but in the future I think we will be <laughs> organize more trips like this one, like few days trips, and maybe in the future I will do more vlogging, like camping related stuff and so on, so there will be a little bit more diversity in the content itself. And yeah, next, next location, 
I need my trilobite so bad because the, and that's why the next location might be rich in trilobites, complete one. So maybe I'm thinking Czech. And yeah, other than that, thanks for watching the video and I hope you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel and like the video if you did enjoy it and see you next time. Bye!